Welcome to your Daily Dopamine with Dr. Joe McCullough, where we deliver daily doses of education, entertainment, and inspiration. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. Welcome to your daily dose of dopamine. My name is Joe and welcome to the replay. If you're catching this on the replay, if you're joining me live, welcome. Today, I'm finally gonna get to the alpha state process. If anyone's been following me, I have mentioned this process several times. Little background, it's something that I learned in quantum learning. Howdy, love your scopes, JT, thank you so much. Something I learned in quantum learning it's uh, designed to get your brain in the optimal brainwave state called alpha state. I modified it a bit for my college students and I lead them through it before every quiz or celebration. It's designed to just help them get ready to focus. So this is going to be a three part series. Lolita, thank you, joining, welcome. These scopes, I originally was gonna be short and then most of my scopes ended up being 30, 40 minutes. So now I'm trying to make them 10 minutes or less. Hello. So what I'm going to do is break this series up or talk about the alpha state process in three parts. Today, Monday, gonna to talk about brain waves. What do we mean when we're talking about brain waves and getting in the optimal brain wave state? Two, Tuesday, I'm gonna give you the actual alpha state process the one that I lead my students through. And then Thursday, we're gonna do a review and Q and A. The reason it's not on Wednesdays, because Wednesdays are weekly series, ask a physicist anything. Okay, so again, for those of you joining, we are talking about the alpha state process. Jamie Jones, welcome. And what I'm doing today is just talking about brain waves. What are we talking about when we hear the word brain waves? A little bit of background. If you, actually let me give you a little bit of background before that. So you probably know that the cells in our brain responsible for thinking are called neurons. And the way that neurons communicate with other neurons is in essence sending little packets, little electrical impulses from one neuron to another. And using something called, see if you can see this, an electrocephalograph, EEG, you can actually look at somebody thinking. And it's kind of cool, it's completely painless, it's non-invasive, and what you do is just there's electrodes. What happens when I read? <laughs> you have electrodes that are measuring the electrical impulses sent between neurons. What it's actually plotting is electric potential difference or voltage as a function of time. And what happens is if you look at somebody thinking, what we know is that there are four main brainwave states. Now, this is kind of the results of an EEG, and what's plotted again is voltage versus time. The reason it's called brain waves is simply because it has a wave-like nature. And what we know is that there's four, four, <laughs> I teach physics, four main kinds of brain waves, and they are delta, theta, alpha, and beta. What does it diagnose? Good question. It's not really diagnosing anything. What we know is that in certain types of mental states, certain processes correspond to different brain waves. So I'll go through them and then uh, talk a little bit about alpha state. So the four big ones are delta, theta, alpha, and beta. There's also a fifth one that I don't know a whole lot about called gamma state. <laughs> Now, delta and theta are usually associated with being unconscious. Delta is the dream, <coughs> excuse me, is the brainwave state you're in when you're in deep, deep sleep. Theta is kind of when you're falling off to sleep. Four types of brainwaves, delta, theta, alpha, and beta. Hey there, Becca, welcome. Alpha, this is the holy grail of learning. This is the brainwave state that you want to be in anytime you really need to focus, anytime you're taking in information. And then beta, this is the state that we are usually in most of our awake lives. And if you look, beta has the highest frequency, delta has the lowest frequency. So beta state, this is when you're awake and aware, but what happens is you're Focus is constantly shifting from one thing to another. So take, for example, driving. You're focusing on the road, 
part of your brain's listening to the music, you check right, you check left, you're thinking about different things, you are constantly bouncing from one thing to another. And this is a great state to be in for like parenting or <laughs> just your everyday existence. However, if you want to take all of that focus of your brain and really laser-like focus, what you want to be in is alpha state. How do I increase my alpha state? That's what this series is all about. So alpha state is when you're relaxed and alert. And the thing about alpha state is, how to put this, your brain functions most efficiently. It's when the signals in the brain can travel most efficiently. It's when you have the most access to everything that you've learned. And this is a great thing for students too, because if they ever experience test taking anxiety or they know they know the material, but their mind goes blank, this is a great process to help them get back into a more relaxed focus state. Now, theta is kind of when you are just about to sleep. It's when you're nodding off to sleep. There's some research showing that many of our memories are actually being stored in theta state. And then delta is deep dreamless sleep. This is when your body is repairing itself. Okay, so for those of you joining late today, I'm, am I a neuroscientist? No, I'm a physics instructor on the physics program chair at Cabrillo College in Santa Cruz, California. But my passion is how people learn. I'm best-selling author of Woohoo! Accelerated Learning Techniques for Students. And this is a process, like I said before, I lead all of my students through before every quiz and before every celebration. And what I do is I lead it for the first two or three quizzes, and then I poll students and ask them if they want to continue doing it. And I tell them I'm completely comfortable if you don't want to do it anymore. And generally it's like 90, 95% of the students want me to keep doing it. So again, the process is designed to get your brain in that state where you learn better, you focus better, you can access all of your brain's resources. Today, I was just giving you a little preview about brain waves. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to go through the alpha state process. I'll teach it to you in detail and I'll lead you through it. And then on Thursday, we'll sort of review and I'll do a little Q and A. Okay, that's really it for today. Why, well, thank you for inviting your friends, Lolita. My name is Joe and I'm on Periscope every single day sharing daily doses of dopamine through education, entertainment, and inspiration. Today is day 61, 61 days in a row. Hasn't been easy, but I've done it. Okay, thank you so much for joining. If you're not following me, follow me so you can get notified of when I am. Good street, thank you. Notified of when I am broadcasting. Your focus. <laughs> Let me say, I've done this process probably a thousand times. I use it before rock climbing. Sometimes I use it before grading. Anytime before I read, sort of the first thing I do. It's a great process, and the more you do it, the easier it gets. Okay, so again, talking about do 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 alpha state process today i just kind of reviewed brain waves if you're catching me late check out the replay tomorrow i'm going to go through the entire process probably going to end up doing it either at five o'clock or at nine o'clock p.m pacific standard time not sure which one depends on how long my labs go okay thank you all for joining my name is joe sorry i didn't get a chance to uh respond to many of the comments i'm kind of in presenter mode <laughs> So actually, let me step out of presenter mode for a couple minutes and see if there are any questions I can answer before I sign off. You are welcome, JT. Thank you. Okay, no questions. Going once, going twice, sold for no dollars. Can't wait for the next one. Why, thank you. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope to see you tomorrow.